What's up, guys? We're here live with City 270. Uh, just gonna shoot the sh shoot some stuff with him for a little bit. Let's get to know him, his music, and uh, you know, have a good time. Um, I tried to get on here just a minute ago, but let's uh, let's get him back on. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming back. I think he said he's coming on. There he is. What's up, baby? No, baby. How are you? Not much, man. Perfect. Just, just sitting back listening to your tracks real quick with a few people, dog. I appreciate you. Girl. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Let's see if I can hear you now. All right, bro. So, uh, what's going on, man? How was your show last night? I'm in Texas route right now. Uh, I said, how was your show last night? It's a little delayed, sorry. Oh, you're good. Yeah, yes, tonight. I'm uh I'm in Where you at? Uh Logan. Oh you're in Logan? Oh yeah, yeah. So you're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's why I got stuck up with my time. We do this right in the road, but it worked out. Yeah, for sure, bro. That works out. Hell yeah. So yeah, man, I was listening to your, uh, a lot of people don't know, but I met you up in Lansing at the Yellow Wolf and Jelly Roll show. Yeah. And, uh, and, and man, you caught my eye, bro. Like, it took me back to the days when I was in high school with all my people, you know, we'd always rap in, at lunchtime or whatever and freestyle and whatnot. And bro, we were going around selling these to our friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. The old yep. school hustle bro and it caught my eye and i and I, I just gotta tell you bro i respect that because a lot of people don't do it this way anymore i appreciate it yeah i love it. it it is definitely an old school format yeah bro it's but it's putting a name to the face and, and interacting with the people that you want to listen to your music and yep. and, and it's awesome man i really like that shit i appreciate it yeah absolutely bro and yeah uh, yeah so, so this is your latest one right forever dope that was the last project i put out yeah Yep, yep. Are you working on anything right now? Um, so that actually dropped last summer, like late summer, actually like early fall, um, September. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a mixtape. Um, we finally got a date dialed in um, for November. So like less than a month. Oh, absolutely. Uh, November 20th, we're going to put it out. But it's already done, recorded, mixed. And I actually just got the artwork back for it last night. So I'm really excited. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. And, uh, good, good, that's you. Good. That's usually how I stagger it. I usually do album, mixtape, album, mixtape. Right. Some people just have one lane with it, but I, I kind of like and enjoy doing both. Yeah. Mixtape mix tape becomes an exercise, but it also caters to two different fan bases. Absolutely. So. Awesome, man. So yeah, so for the people that, that, that don't really know you or, or people that don't know a lot about you, why don't you give them a background of how you started with music or what gave you the interest of starting to rap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I appreciate first and foremost the opportunity, and it was good to meet you as well. You know, I, I'd heard your name floating around. I know you messed with the homie Rich Regal. Absolutely, so, bro. I knew it was a familiar face, even for being outside the state line. I knew the familiar face, and you know, it was good that we were able to um, catch up and link. And I had no clue you were in Illinois. Um, yeah, bro. And as you see tonight, when I try to do the try to do it live an hour early. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I know. I was like, man, I've been trying to tell you to let's do this at 7 p.m. Central time, man. but it's yeah, awesome. yeah. You know, you're, you're, yeah, you're yeah. doing your thing right now, so yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. I just, I really just been a fan of the music since kids, and you know, a lot of people can relate to that. Um, from records on down, classic rock in my household. Right. Uh, hip hip hop at an early age. I ran with a bunch of older guys, and they were put me on to that early music. Yeah. From LL to NWA, and uh. You know, that stuff was like the first things that hit my ear as far as hip hop goes. But the classic rock, to, um, the guitars, that's always been um, something I've been drawn to as well. Everything from Leonard Skinner to Bob Seger to Bad Company, I'm um, on down. So it's kind of been a melting pot. Um, Absolutely. But, um, I'd say the 90s, hearing Bone, you know, I'm a bit older and, you know, some of these young guys, but uh, Bone really was like, pinnacle for me um hearing that and them being from ohio right i'm um, hearing, hearing that style the flow everything about it was like wow this is different it is it's bro. pretty cool the production was nice and um so that kind of got me wanting to 
toy around with it. Like, wow, this is some at least from an idol standpoint, looking up to them guys, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't know I could do it at the time. And uh, just something I just kind of toyed with off and on. And as I got a bit older, you know, friends started to notice. I would get more comfortable, would do it more often. And eventually got into small studios, bigger studios. And um, just kind of grew the, the passion for the recording, the studio, that whole process really, you know, became a thing that really grew on me. Yeah, the yeah. format of learning songs. Um, right. But I'm pretty fortunate. There's a, a lot of guys that I was around that were older, and, and they, they taught me a lot. Guys that were already in the studio, like uh, First Degree, they were a group in Columbus, and they were influenced by Bone, and, and there were four members, and they actually sounded a lot like Bone, had a fast flow, real street, real gangster style, and these guys took me under their wings, and um, that was pretty cool just to to get that and be taught so that's yeah. kind of like the early kind of grooming period of what you know falling in love with it and recording but you know there's so much more to, to go over within that but that's early stuff yeah bro it sounds like bone was a huge influence for you yep big time and you know listening to your music you definitely have that style bro you have the same kind of style you know but, yeah. but the thing about your stuff is you bring in some acoustic stuff with your you know you you do kind of mix it up your music's very very versatile you know what i mean yeah. um you know like listening to to johanna like bro that's a that's an amazing story for any father that that's yeah a kid you know what i mean and, yeah. I, and I, when i listened to that bro it was really deep to uh to, to listen to that because you know i remember going through those types of things too with, with having a kid and yeah it's very cool, bro. It's, it's it's really dope it really thank is. you thanks for giving it a listen so yeah absolutely so how long have you uh how long have you been doing music? Um, I'd say rapping, kind of like early high school. Um, I didn't really start recording until right at the tail end of high school. So I got about 18 to 20 years under my belt just in recording. Yeah. I have, I have a lot of music. Um, as far as actually packaging things up, um, getting out in the streets and doing it, that may be like the last 12, 13 years. My first official release was uh, 2007. Oh, wow. So yeah. my first press up, 5,000 copies. And then from that point on, the bug bit me, especially when I started to get feedback. People were actually supporting and buying the music. Yes. And then able to go to certain shows and perform these songs. It's right. like, wow, it became, became such a, a growing thing for me and such a passion that I always wanted to continue as long as i had ideas i never wanted to force anything right right but, but as long as that, that love was there i was going to continue to to do it and we'll want each album to be different and challenge that and yeah yeah absolutely. try to mature with it and, and it, it's funny you talked about the um instrumentation with the guitars because that's something i always wanted to do yeah. back then before i had guitar players really at reach i would sample you know i was always using my npc 1000 a lot of people um may not know but i produce as well and I produced um, on the album side, the majority of those albums, I, I did a lot of those beats. Um, That's awesome. So, yeah, so yeah the, the, the instruments, you know, as I get older, I definitely draw myself into wanting to mix it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, man, like like Lee Kelly, man, you could tell, you know, between Lee Kelly and Retro Bit, bro, yeah. in those songs, you can really just, it, it just gives it more of a home feel. Like you said, we grew up with the classic rock and, yeah. And, that kind of household so it kind of brings that little bit of that into your rapping you know what i mean yeah 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 it does it gives you it gives you your own style bro and i like that for sure Thank you. so um who's somebody that you you know you've been doing this for 13 years what keeps you motivated and going in this and creating new music being so long you know what what keeps you going bro yeah i think i think with every time that that i do it, i mean the, the love is still there one yeah. But the fact that each time I do something, put out something new or, you know, go out and do it, I feel like there's growth. I feel like I'm still meeting new people. Right. I feel, feel that I'm getting that encouragement. And um, yeah. I still feel like I have so many songs to write. So yeah. many songs I want to write, so many ideas. I feel like they pour out of me. And um, finding that balance can be tricky, you know, and things oh, yeah. like that. When it's appropriate, um, I, I'm I'm really dialed. In. I can I can lock myself in a studio and be be completely content. Right. Yeah. I I, I hey. see it. 
I believe it. So, so I'm thankful um, on the production side as well. As I get older, wanna I want to dig my feet into that as well a bit more. I feel like I haven't gave my production 100% of myself because I'm an artist. Um, you know, but as I get older, then I'll transition and, and something else I'll, I'll tap into more. Yeah, that's awesome, bro. So, so you got goals with that at least, you know? Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah keep, keep putting this type of stuff out, bro, and, and, and it's going to catch the right person sooner than later, I feel. That's special. Thank you for the words. Definitely, bro. Um, you know, who's somebody, speaking of that, like who's somebody that you want to, um, who's somebody that you do want to work with? that you haven't yet or somebody that you, um, you know, it, it would be that one person that you'd want to do a song with if you could, if you could do a song with anybody right now. Yeah. Um, and there, they're just, name the older one, dial into really like, like my favorite that, that, that window open. Um, the older guys starts with Bone, yeah. um, a ball and MJG, um, Daz and corrupt, you know, I yeah. love that West Coast music growing up, but I'm new, and it's funny because we both met the meeting the day we met him, a Yellow Wolf. Yeah. And and to speak on him, he just seeing his his growth, you know, him a beginning just he's just like a raw MC. Yeah. But to see that growth, that just sounded organic. You know, but the instrumentation, his style, it's just out of this out of this world. It is, man. It is. This world. Yeah, it's it's just, it's amazing to see it when you hear records like, you know, even at Mudmouth, that last one. I know. When you put that out, just like, um, and just motivated. That's the thing. When I hear like new records and they come out and they really like, really smack the pavement, um, that motivates me. It's my wheels turning. It's like I hear other people out there that are still in love with the music, still have that passion. That's that's the one thing that I thought was dope with Yellow Wolf too is is you know when we were backstage hanging out with him or whatever he's a very um, he's a very um, very humble just go, easy go with the flow type person you know what I mean and yeah. when he's on that stage he turns into an entertainer and he I mean he goes hard bro that was such yeah. a good yeah show. it really yeah was. that was awesome All right, that was a special night. It was very special, bro. That was a yeah. that was a good time, man. We met a lot of good people, and and it was a good yeah. circle of people, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It was but, pretty good. Well, that's cool, bro. So you want to get get into producing in the future? Um, yep. You know, um, you got anything else coming up, or or anything that you want to talk about? Um, I'm really happy right now. There's a, a lot of shows that I'm I'm doing and involved in. Um, I have a show tonight in Logan, Ohio with Rich Regal. Um, a bigger show that I have here in Columbus, Ohio. If anybody tuned in that makes local or anybody willing to travel, um, I'm doing the Struggle with Jennings show November 20th at uh, the King of Clubs. Yep. That's going to be a really dope show. Uh, you know, that's all promoted online. Tickets are online. And, you know, anybody involved with the show are selling tickets in hand as well. Uh, so, yeah, you yeah, yeah. In for that too, correct? Dope, dope. Hell yeah. I might try to come out for that one, bro. That'd That'd be sweet. It's going to be a good show, man. Uh, Yep. You know, the video video that they put out yesterday was just amazing. Struggle with Caitlin and Kareem and conservative bar, conservative ant. Like, that that video was just sick, man. And that's cool that you get part of that to open up for them, bro. Very much. Yeah. Very much. But uh, what's that? No, any any time there's an opportunity like that 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 comes, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I've been able to do that for for so many cool people, and uh, you yeah. never know. You have to you have to try. You have to be willing to put yourself out there, whether it be yeah. a small venue where there may be ten people or a hundred people or a thousand. Uh, if you have yeah. that love for it, you'll do it. So absolutely, yeah, definitely, bro. And it's, uh, I think it's important to people to know that, you know, it's okay to step outside your boundary if, if that's what you love to do. Because I know a lot of artists that try to do what you're, you know, this, bro, I you're, I think you're past hand and knees out. You're, I, I yeah. think it's that good. But yeah. you, know, you do it because you want everybody to listen to yep. you. And, yep. uh, and, and, man, I, 
I wish we could have done the, that interview there that night, but I just I wasn't ready for it after all the shock and awe of everything. Oh and yeah, it yeah. It was it was a lot, you know. My family it's, was so happy to be there, and it was just yeah, that was cool. Caught up in the moment, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I definitely I we're gonna get in another interview for sure and go more into depth about stuff in the future. Yeah. And definitely we'll we'll work on that for sure, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, you know what 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 would you tell? I mean, what are you charging for features and stuff for people that want to come? You know, get you on a track and stuff like that. Well, I always love to network, and I usually just tell people just if they feel it's worth it, throw me what they think is fair. Um, I'm I'm definitely not waxing, definitely not busting heads, and I'm one of them guys that. I don't. I don't mess around. I don't have to work on something. I take stuff back. I usually don't have people waiting around too long to get anything back from me, as long as I'm not too busy. Yeah. And, and uh, for people to know too, because you know, a lot of people want to work with people, but they act like they get too scared. You know, they they don't want to reach yeah. out or work for it. You know, people are like, "Oh, yeah. hey, in the future," you know, and it's like, "And eh, like, let's let's work together. Let's make it happen." You know, and that's the way it should be. Yep. Yeah, these things these things don't happen by themselves. You got to put in some effort. Not at all, brother. And 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 I have to agree with Frenchie, bro. You you've been a real one, and and you know I've been following you for a little bit, and 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 I respect your hustle, bro, for sure. Hey, you as well. You as well. I like I like what you're doing. Thanks. And I, you know, you keep sure. pushing that as well. We're just some tell- steps, man. You know, I yeah. I wanted to do this for the love of music. You know, I have a background in music too. Um, yeah. You know, I DJ'd a little bit in the EDM scene and, and was a hype man for a lot of years, uh, you know, in Denver and, and, and surrounding states. I'd go party wow. and stuff. So I grew up on the West Coast. So I, I, I feel your hip hop vibe, you know, yeah. hip-hop vibe, the West Coast style in your stuff. And I think that's why I like you so much, bro. In yeah. your style for sure. It goes both ways, man. The personality, I definitely dig it. And I definitely wanted to, you know, do more homework, you know, you know more about your. Uh, music background too but i could i could tell just off the fact of you know you doing this there's there's a passion for the music and yeah. it's a selfless act too you know to to want to do that and want to find out about people want to share that that's a that's a dope thing that uh yeah. it's hard to come across as people so i'm very appreciative yeah definitely bro and uh you know we, we got to give the shout out to rich regal man because i feel like if it wasn't for him a lot of these people and us probably yeah. wouldn't even meet you know, I agree. And agree. Rich keeps that humbleness of he's he ain't nobody, but he's really somebody, man. And I think it's very cool. Um, you know, I pay close attention to who he networks with, and and it's I've they're all great people. They're all great people. They yeah. really are. And yeah, it's he's a, it's a he's good crazy. circle. He is, man. He is. Yeah. It was a hell of a show last night too. Yeah, yeah. He's um he's a special guy. He works his butt off. Um, the way his brain works is very smart. The way he could put ideas together. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, his brother for life. Yeah, for sure, bro. And, you know, the first, one of the times I talked to Rich, um, he actually, I, I actually was when I got back from Lansing. I said, yeah, I met 270. And he goes, oh, he goes, he goes, yeah, man, that dude's solid cat, you know. And he, he talked nothing but good about you, you know. And I'm like, yeah. man, I got to get with 270. We got to we gotta do this, man. So Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're. Uh, I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. Don't give it up, bro, because you you no. definitely have something special going on for yourself, man. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, you as well. Yeah, bro. I'm trying, man. You know. Uh, yeah. This is just this is just kind of a fun thing for me, and you know, I would love to do this in the future. My my thing is, I want to get into the into the you know music video, even maybe producing myself someday. You know. Yeah. Um and and. Maybe we could work on something in the future. You know what I mean? But uh, I've just, I just don't have the voice to sing, bro. Otherwise I'd be out there doing the same thing because in high school, like I said, we, we freestyle at lunch together and battle and yeah, and it was just such a lifestyle for us. We couldn't wait to get out of class. So we can go talk shit to each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's sweet. yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, you just remind me of one of the old friends, man. So I, I really yeah. appreciate that. But um, yeah, Please. everybody, where where can they find your music at, bro? If one people want to look, find your music. Yes, uh, pretty much city across the board. Guy T Walker two seven zero. YouTube's the biggest thing I promote. I always put everything I do once I put it out on YouTube, music videos, and individual songs. 
but all the music platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, um, all that stuff. All my original albums are available on mixtapes. I just do them as YouTube because, you know, rocking over the beats. Yeah. Um, but all the original albums are up on all the platforms. Bye. Um, and I even ship physical copies too. So if we're interested, in that, they can send me a message on you know any of these platforms. Reach out. And I'll ship stuff out of it if they want it old school. I, I get to the format. In the future, I also hope to press some stuff up on vinyl. I'm a big vinyl guy, and uh, you know, collect the cassette tapes. I'm, I'm a nerd when it comes to that. But uh, my dream is to have some of the albums on vinyl. It's so expensive to press up, but it'd be so rewarding. To get that, it, it so, really is. but yeah, yeah, if you're listening. Follow, subscribe, all that, all that helps. Absolutely, everybody share this. Go like my boy, uh, City Two Seventy. Check out his album Forever Dope. You guys won't regret this one. It seems like every every track on this thing, man, it's it's a different story, and it, it, it's so cool, man. And I, I I respect that a lot. I. uh I just, I don't even know what to say, bro. I've, I've listened to your whole album right before we got on while I was cooking dinner with the family. And wow. I just, I, I would just, it, it just, it, you got that, you just got that story. You know what I mean? It's almost like yeah. it's a jelly roll. How when he writes his music, it's a, it's a deep story. And you, and you got yeah. that, you got that, but you also spit that fire too. So it's a good combination yeah. for sure, bro. Definitely. Yeah. You gotta, thank you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not afraid to fill, fill my heart. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's like my favorite music. Those the certain pop records, my favorite ones are my heartfelt. Ones. Uh, Picture me rolling, dear mama. You know those deep records. And uh, on the topic of it, you know, shout out to Jelly. Like, talking about the inspiration to see uh, to see that guy come from. I remember him hearing maybe fifty to seventy five people early show. And wow. to see that growth and determination work and what was the first show? What was the first show that you ever went to? Like a concert, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, overall? Just what was your very, very first concert? I'd want to say um it was a free concert on a riverfront country concert. It was uh Aaron Aaron Tippin. Oh, Aaron Tippin, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um it was a free concert and we had this like cool uh, stage at the time, it was right on the river. And I remember walking down with family and friends and checking out. And uh, I was fascinated even, you know, he, it, it actually, and he had all that equipment all on the stage. At one point, they stopped the show. And then, you know, the guy with his spirit of music, no, we're going to continue to go. And they just played. I mean, it was getting rained on out there. Wow. That's so, awesome. I think my first one I went to, I saw the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And I saw them at the Grand Prix of Denver. So it was an wow. Indy race. They shut down all of downtown Denver. and They had an Indy car race. And then my uncle, he worked for a trucking company. So he had he had box seats and all this stuff. And, and uh, yeah, we went and it was raining too. It was under a canopy. Yeah. And that was my first concert. And, you know, just to see people perform and see all these people around you just looking up to you and just vibing to your music. I mean, that's just... Yeah. That's such a good feeling in itself. And then to see it as a kid, you're like, wow, like they can do that, you know? And, and a lot of people get intimidated and you can do it too. Anybody can do it. You just yep. to put your mind to paper. You know what I mean? Yeah. It really is, man. And I think that's the problem with a lot of, you know, people who rap. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's people that, that I think are terrible too, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I always try to give positive feedback and, Hey, why don't you try this? Or you don't, you know, try that or, you know, or some people just say beat feet, you know, trying to give them them uh, constructive criticism. But, yeah, um, you know, it's it, it was just very cool. That's, that's cool. That's a good first concert, bro. Yeah, yeah. I felt the same way just seeing them with their live instrument performing that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's another thing, too, that, that really pushes me is I grew up 10 minutes from Red Rocks Amphitheater. Wow. So when I was a kid, you know, we, we were kind of poorish, you know, we weren't, we didn't have a lot of money. We didn't go to concerts and stuff like that, but we would drive to the, to Red Rocks and sit in the parking lot. And the first big concert that I ever heard, was John Tesh. Wow. And it's just crazy because he does the same thing with his music. It's acoustic. He's got, you know, piano and, 
and he used to jam out, man. You know, like him and Yanni back in the day, man. They they really showed you what instrumentation was. You know, wow. It was it was, that, it was a really cool inspiration. Wow, that's that's crazy. You said that about the Red Rocks. It it definitely looks like a dope venue, a dope place. But I thought I thought that was like a new place. I didn't know that's been there. Dude, it's been around since like the eight late eighteen hundreds, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I, I'm sure it was the late eighteen hundreds. And to watch it develop over the years is just crazy, man. It's two giant rocks on each side with a thousand stairs to the bottom, you know. And it and when you're there, you know, looking up, it is just the most incredible thing, man. And the sound you won't get sound like that anywhere in the world. Sounds it's, like it's setting. Oh, dude, it's insane. If you ever get the chance to do that, I, I would go, bro. I want to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm I'll putting in the atmosphere. I want to perform there. That's what it's all about, baby. That's the dream, you know? Yeah. 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 I, uh, I agree, man. I think it would be cool to see you at Red Rock someday. Maybe we can work on something now if you get out there, bro. Yeah, Especially very much. West Coast vibe. I got a lot of Denver connections, so. I'll, man, uh, that's sweet. Yeah, I'll link you up with a few people. That's sweet. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, I've been I've been to Denver when I was younger, but it was for work. Yeah. Yep. What were you doing? So, yeah. Um, I actually out of high school, I laid carpet. I did a uh, all the Olive Garden, the Red Lobsters. So oh, we really? would uh, we would oh, travel. Yeah, we'd all load up in a box truck. Yep. That was a yep. uh, fresh out of high school work. That's what it's all about. Yep. Man. You know, I worked yep. I worked for my grandfather for a number of years. He was a he was a subcontractor for a. a exterior and, and you know windows and siding and all that all exterior yeah. company and i grew up doing that man wow yeah i respect it yeah bro and it, you know just to watch my grandfather he did that until he was 68 years old you know and wow. still swinging hammers bending crowbars you know and and that's what it's all about man i think people need yeah. to grow up more like that you know i agree your appreciation for things i agree yeah yeah so I definitely see that in you, bro. It's, uh, you know, keep this going for sure. I appreciate it. You as well. Yeah, I will, bro. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's all I really got for you now, you know. Um, Perfect. I appreciate, I appreciate you coming on, bro. And like I said, we'll get another interview in soon and and uh, and we'll make it legit. Yeah, uh, this is legit enough. But we'll definitely link up. Yeah, it's for sure, bro. Let's, let's do yep. some work together, bro. All right. Sounds good. All right, brother. Everybody check out City 270 YouTube. Check his music out on all platforms. Give him a like. Give him a follow. Show some love, baby. Appreciate anybody tuning in. All right, Justin. Be cool. Take care of yourself. Yup. Take it easy, brother. All right. Peace.